So the really the key of all of this work that's accumulated in the last decade is really that we're able to do less lymph node surgery for women both that have negative nodes as well as those that have positive nodes, which decreases the risk of a woman developing lymphedema after treatment. And lymphedema is one of the most feared side effects among women who, under, who will receive a diagnosis of breast cancer and are told they need surgery. So uh, these recent data have really helped us to understand that we can do less surgery even when women have cancer in the lymph nodes without compromising their long-term outcomes, but by sparing them the morbidity of the node dissection. And so I think these results are really powerful in and of themselves, but they're definitely opening the door for us to consider more opportunities to de-escalate therapy. We have a much better understanding of the biology of breast cancer today than we did previously, and so we understand how our systemic treatments, our surgical treatments, um, and the sequencing of those treatments, how they can all be used together to allow us to do, again, less surgery. So we're really taking a less is more approach.